Hi everybody, could you use some good news? Well, let's start with this. A team of German, American, and Italian astronomers has discovered the most distant example yet of one of the most wondrous and mind-bending objects in astronomy, a gravitational lens. A gravitational lens is a galaxy that deflects and intensifies the light from an even more distant object that sits behind it from our point of view. The gravitational lens effect not only acts as a natural telescope, allowing us to view the more distant object in much greater detail than we would otherwise be able to, it also enables astronomers to estimate the mass of the nearer object. This newly discovered lens, designated J1000 plus 0221, is 9.4 billion light years from Earth. It's that bluish white region in the center. The yellow and pink ring around it is the deflected light of an even more distant and ancient galaxy. The more distant galaxy appears to be what's known as a star-bursting dwarf galaxy. That's a young, small galaxy that is producing new stars at a tremendous rate. Or at least it was when the light recorded in that image left its source 9.4 billion years ago. Turning now to the comparatively recent past, a team of archaeologists working on the island of Jersey in the English Channel has rediscovered an area that may have been home to some of the last surviving Neanderthals, a site that was first visited by archaeologists over 100 years ago. The site is part of the larger mega-site known as La Cotte, or The Cave, in the Jersey parish of St. Brillade. It contains sediment layers dated between 47,000 and 100,000 years ago. In the early 20th century, Lacotte produced more Neanderthal artifacts than any other site in the British Isles, including stone tools and teeth. But it was assumed that its significant deposits had all long since been removed by researchers. A new study of the site, funded by the UK's Natural Environment Research Council, the first formal survey of Lacotte in decades, found that significant deposits still remained, providing a record not only of the presence of Neanderthals, but of climate change dating back to the last ice age. Further study of the Lakot site, as well as the artifacts and sediments removed by the previous excavations, are now planned. Finally, good news for comet watchers. There's a new Hubble image of Comet Ison, and it looks to be in fine shape for its coming close encounter with the Sun. Some astronomers had feared we would miss out on the most spectacular comet flyby in decades because Ison would disintegrate as it drew closer to the Sun and its icy nucleus began to melt. But this new image, taken by Hubble on October 9th, shows that Ison is still intact and looking good. If all goes well, Ison should appear the brightest in our sky in late November. Astronomers discover a distant gravitational lens, archaeologists rediscover an historic Neanderthal site, and the Hubble Space Telescope confirms that the so-called Comet of the Century is still on its way and still in one piece. That's the good news. It's your reward for being a good kitty. You can play some baseball, okay? Ready? <laughs>